ओम नमस्ते नमस्ते वेलकम 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 एवरीवन वेरेवर यू मे बी ऑन दिस प्लैनेट आई स्टिल से ब्यूटीफुल प्लैनेट वेलकम टू दिस मॉर्निंग्स आई एम सिटिंग एंड सो हैप्पी टू सी द फेसेस इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी आल्सो and each one representing the many who I'm not able to see physically but I know that you're here and I you're here inside my heart also thank you thank you um before we begin this morning's sitting I'd like to um uh, dedicate this morning's sitting to um Sri Tithnath Han who uh left his body at midnight last night and he's a most renowned uh, uh spiritual teacher beloved one and um i'd like to dedicate this in honor of his uh presence and what he uh imparted to the world of so many beings who benefited from his teachings and guidance so thank you okay actually i would like to read uh, something that was from him also i have it um and uh just be very open and here um, because it's not unlike uh, what we are sharing each day also he said on the subject no death and no fear he has this to say this body is not me i am not caught in this body i am life without boundaries i have never been born and i have never died over there i would ask you you can hear his reference is not i am this body over there the wide ocean and the sky with many galaxies all manifest from the basis of consciousness since beginning less time i have always been free birth and death are only a door through which we go in and out birth and death are only a game of hide and seek we often refer to ourselves as seekers you see so smile to me and take my hand and wave goodbye tomorrow we shall meet again or even before we shall always be meeting again at the true source always meeting again on the myriad paths of life shri tiknath han so you each one of you are perfect candidates for this understanding each one especially here in what you have been shown and what you are seeing with increasing profundity and liberation this message Mm-hmm. that i've just read read to you and the message which i continue to share with you is totally compatible with the presence you are now mm, as we come to sit together and not only in honoring of shri tiknath han's life but of the life unending within you
Rest not your attention on anything phenomenal now. Be entirely empty. Welcome to Satsang. We will begin this morning sitting with the sound of the bell you are about to hear. At the end of the session, you will again hear the sound of the bell, which only indicates it is the end of the session, but not an end to what is, of course. And the first bell is not the beginning of what is. Actually, that which is, is beyond beginnings, durations and ending. We are not going there. <clears throat> we are coming into the recognition of the unity of our inmost truth and that which is eternal. So please make yourself comfortable. I am sure you have, and you are. Relax. Oh. We are not going on a journey. Before any journey begin, before the first step or the first breath, you are here. Let's Look at what it means you are here. Even before the next thought or the next breath arises and is perceived in you. You are not the moving breath. You are not the moving thought. I don't want to say what you are, just with words, because you are not those words either. It is not important that we create a shape to represent what we are at all. For whatever shape you could imagine or create is only a momentary image appearing in the vast space that awareness is. And this is not something new. Every word I may speak to you, and your very hearing of them arises in and is being perceived in the space of your being. They are not instructions. It is not a teaching to convey an idea. Whatever is heard or felt or sensed 
float effortlessly in the space of your being. The silence between each word is also perceived inside your being. There is no need to look forward to what may be next, or backward, or what has passed, or even in the present moment for what may arise. All these modes of time are phenomenal and changeful. Without effort, you are aware of this. But in being reminded of this, you rest in your natural completeness. Here, no journey, no journey can take you to here. Journeys and paths indicate somewhere else. But here, here, simply is. I invite you to let go of all intentions of the mind. This is not a physical instruction. It is a beautiful invitation. Do not hold on to, there is no need to hold on to, any thought or intention for this moment. They may come later, but this moment, simply be aware, as you are now, of your awareness itself. This is not a complexity. Simply, you are self aware. Allow this in you to rest your attention away from the dynamic field of thoughts and emotions. There is no need to try and stop them. Simply ignore. Pay attention only to the natural, effortless space of being. There are no images, no pictures to rest your attention upon. There is nothing to follow. There is nothing to keep. Nothing to change. No conditions to fulfil. Nothing to reach. You are simply here. This is totally natural for you. The habit 
of the mind and personal sense of being is to link to other things, to the sense of otherness. Simply you notice this, but remain as you are. A most seemingly <clears throat> unusual request. Rest in your own being. This is the most natural. There is no posture to take. There is no yogic position to sit in. There is no need for a bell or candles or incense or a special place or a temple. Let this body be the temple. But yes, you are here inside this temple, but without taking shape in the vastness of your being. The very temple of the body is also in you as pure awareness. There is no need for what is next. It doesn't matter. Next as a thought or a sensation will also, like a cloud floating in the infinite expanse of the sky, does not disturb the immensity of the sky. Neither does the sky hold on to any cloud. Similarly observe, without holding any shape, you are unbound. There is no need to imagine this. It is already so. It is not a technique. Yourself is not a technique. Here you can see, nothing separates you. This will be most naturally and effortlessly recognised, when you don't take shape. Taking shape simply means identifying with an object, even this body, or with any thought. And it is not necessary. Like this you can focus, without effort, on that within you, which is unbound, universal. And look, there is nothing to imagine, nothing to create, nothing to become. 
this is the base, the very source, within which the functions of the mind can dance, thought and feeling float through, take their birth in this space. Yet the space of self is not altered. This is your true place. And look, you will find, it is not in conflict with any movement, any action, even any thought. For all things perceived are by nature a movement, transient, temporary, and naturally so. Learn to observe all that arises with detachment. Some sensations may arise uh, noisily, smoothly, but as awareness, you are not disturbed. whether they are words or thoughts or silence, all are effortlessly perceived without any disturbance to the perceiving power and space. Everything is functioning naturally, in accordance with their own natural laws. The breathing is simply happening. Blood is flowing. Whatever arise, arise and dissolve. You are neither doing nor undoing. It's not important to call this anything. It simply is. Why is this so clear now? Even amidst the busy noise of the world, here remains constant and unchanging. The vastness within which the earth turns, the universe appears, disappear, waking, dreaming, sleeping. All appear change within this unchanging space. Even if a sense of restlessness should appear, arise in the body, allow, simply don't identify, and look. Uh, you are not paralyzed. You're not dead. Not bored. All these uh, sense of restlessness, it can happen. But there's no need to log into any sensation. And you're not creating. Simply aware.
whatever the next sensation or thought may be. Look, it cannot alter this. There's no need to try and concentrate, concentrate. No. Even the act and intention to concentrate is effortlessly perceived in your unmoving vastness. Give this to yourself. Rest inside your own awareness. When there is time to move about, when the active mind arises, there is time for that. It is OK. Look, you may not be disturbed if you pay attention to this. There is no need to try and work it out or to figure it out in your mind. There are no techniques to imply. It is the most natural. And now that you are aware of awareness itself, there is nothing you can do for awareness. You are the awareness itself. The mistake and misunderstanding is that for a long time we have imagined we are merely the body and the mind functions, and that awareness is something you must get to. But all these misunderstandings, misconceptions, arise in the very awareness itself. A simple example. Try to be not aware. Try while I'm here to push awareness away. We don't want don't believe in awareness. Can you succeed? Because even the one attempting to do so is perceived as an image and an action arising and being perceived in the unmoving awareness you are. Even the very effort to remain constantly aware itself is phenomenal. A movement, a movement, an idea arising in the unchanging field of consciousness. Here, the habits and tendencies of the mind and the sense of personhood, hmm, it will try its best to appear to, uh, to disturb the field. But it is not possible when you are clear. It can only mm, try somehow to disturb mm, uh, or to distract your attention. But look, even attention, restless or not, is naturally perceived in the unchanging field of awareness. For some beings, the habit of relating from the mind, the strong sense of doer, I am doing, I am doing, how can I stop, and so on, 
mm, may appear to mm, cover that which I am pointing to and from. But still it is possible for you. Stop trying. Drop all efforts right now. Simply drop it. Stop acting as though you are your mind, or acting out your mind's behaviour. You are always the witness. Remember this. And each time this is clear for you, you are free. It's nothing to imagine. This is another form of mind posing as something important. It's nothing to create or imagine. Simply pay attention to your natural being, without shape, without words. Confirm. It's the stable ground of all movement. Itself unmoving, and there is no effort. This is the Self. You are not apart from the Self, looking at the Self. You are naturally, effortlessly, self-aware. There is no duality here. Sometimes the feeling, I want to stay like this all the time. Don't go so deeply into that. It is also a thought arising in the unbroken awareness. Be aware of that. This I feeling, I get it, I want to keep it, I want to stay, has long been a distraction. Watch the sense of I. If you are able to watch the sense of I, you are already beyond. But not beyond in terms of apartness, distance, or journey, but in the subtlety of the self. All movements are perceived. There is no need to log into any movement. So, my encouragement is. as often as you can, as much as you are drawn, pay attention, simply pay attention to your own awareness. Like this, in the most mysterious, magical, most beautiful way, all the restlessness, all fears, all anxieties, Come nicely to rest. Do not meet your life from the place of personhood. Let personhood be also uh, an effect in consciousness. Again, be reminded. We are not going anywhere, nor are you frozen, like space. You are everywhere. Do not cling to any shape, any idea, however appealing. 
even the beautiful thought, I am the Self, now is only a thought arising in the Self. You are the Self itself. This is your truest truth. The more you give space and time to this, the simplicity of being, you come to recognize the naturalness of being. The tendency or reflex to identify with the body mind and personal identity is also a mode of consciousness, but a contracted mode. Remain as you are. There is no need to define what is. Simply be. And all your functions become automatically harmonious. This is so even now. There is nothing to create. Sometimes mind arises in the form of some restlessness, agitation, like, I cannot be this, I cannot do this. Be steadfast. It is only a movement in you. You are not the movement. Know this, and confirm this deep within your being. You are not static, not paralysed. There is no force in awareness. And yet all that appears as the world, and the person, and its world, is like flickering shadows, or light, in the immensity of the unchanging. Grasp this. Resting in your own completeness, beyond concepts or images. You are not asleep. Allow all natural actions, reactions, interactions, to play out as they must. Remain as you are. The more you accept this, stay with this, the more it is loved and honoured. It is your joy. It is not a construction.
There's no need to try and control life or manipulate. And trust in all your actions uh, when effort is required. Effort will naturally come. No disturbance to the your fundamental being. If some force is required, that will also spontaneously manifest in you. Trust this and observe until it becomes clear for you. Though there may be moments of intense need to focus, you need not be disturbed. Observe that all things necessary manifest spontaneously in the awakened being. I am not speaking primarily about future here, but in the unbound nowness of being. Time plays. So less emphasis or effort on controlling or manipulating, and more as resting in being. Nothing valuable will be lost, and all things true will be confirmed. You see, we have so long indulged the ego identity and the state of personhood that, for many people, our natural state feels imaginary, or distant, or unachievable, or unreal. You are simply Reacquiring uh, the taste for your own self. Some agitation may come. It is okay. Do not fight. A sense of restlessness may arise. It is okay. Everything is momentary, perceived in the infinite. And it is already so. Truth is already so. It cannot be created. Only being revealed within your own being. And now you do not even need to believe this. It is no distance from you. It is not a teaching. It is a simultaneous knowing and being. They are one. For some of you, uh, you might be uh, quite accustomed to the mind always pounding away. Being in the head space. But even this, even this, don't struggle, don't identify. Right now, let it be, but you stay only as this awareness. It may seem a struggle at first, but persist. Leave the result 
to God. Simply keep your attention here. And naturally, it becomes effortless. Your being, your reality, is not apart from you. Here, behind the curtains of the mind, you are. Soon you will see that even in the mind's fiercest storms, this is. The strongest winds, the fiercest storms, may hasten the clouds moving, but they cannot blow away the space of the sky. Like this, continue to rest in your own effortless being, become familiar more and more. until you realize the ultimate truth. You are not separate. You are this. Coming to an end of a long dream of separation, of struggle. Abide in this. I am called at the moment just to look again at some words I read to you at the beginning of this. It came from Sri Thich Nhat Hanh. Um, where will I want to say? Let me read what I can again. Stay as you are. Here he speaks. This body is not me, not what I am. I am not trapped in this body. I am life without boundaries. These words are echoing within your own silence. I have never been born, and I have never died. Don't go out. Stay as you are. Only confirming, you see, without strain. Over there, the wide ocean and the sky, with many galaxies, all manifest from the basis of consciousness. Consciousness also can appear to be your dynamic function, your instrument, in which the world is reflected upon the screen of consciousness as mind. He continues, Since beginningless time, I have always been free. Who are we speaking about? Yourself. Birth and death are only a door through which we come in and go. Birth and death are only a game of hide and seek. But what is awareness seeking? all watched inside mm-hmm. the unbound space of yourself. So smile to me, he says, and take my hand and wave goodbye. Tomorrow we shall meet again, or even before. We shall always be meeting again at the true source. Where is the true source? Don't go to imagination. All is here. Always meeting again, 
on the myriad paths of life. All paths are going somewhere. All journeys are going somewhere. But both their intention, their beginnings, their durations, and their endings are perceived in your unchanging and limitless Self. I am not trying to give you an experience. Oh, enjoy! We are having this nice, beautiful meditation. No. Let my words be only a mirror, in which that which cannot be perceived through or by the senses of the mind is recognized. In reality, you are the imageless Self. Do not settle for merely believing this. Pay attention to your own awareness, without creating any image. What can you see? What can you perceive? Is the mind hungry for an image to connect with? If it is so, that also is a momentary image appearing in the vastness, soon thinning away like a cloud passing in the breeze. But unlike a cloud, and unlike time, you are not passing as awareness. Touch a shape and combine yourself with a shape, and you are again caught in the traffic of phenomenon. If not another word is spoken or heard, I have added nothing to you, nor taken away anything simply an opportunity to rest and recognize that which is imperishable, unconditioned, limitless, perfect happiness, Joy, wisdom, and love are its perfume, but no one can see it visually. For in essence, you are not apart from it. As may be conceived in your mind, Look, what are you? Can you vanish? Where is front or back for you? When you do not Create a shape for yourself, and yet without shape can you deny your existence. Do not speak about this, my love.
as awareness itself. What is time or the passing of time for you? What is left or right for you? What is inside or outside for you? What is birth or death for you? If all things perceived were to be taken from you, taken away from you, everything that can be perceived, to the very last thing, is removed. Can anything remove that which you are? Let everything come back. Let everything come back. Have you increased or decreased as awareness? If you are listening on the basis of personhood, You may be confused by what I am sharing. But if you remain as you really are, free from any association with any form, because no form can you be in constant uh, connection with, even this body. This body appears within your own consciousness also. Don't struggle to understand this. If it feels an effort, leave it. Leave it. Whatever is needed will be revealed to you. This is the grace of God. Remain as you are. How not to? Is this merely a sensation, a beautiful sensation, a taste? wonderful feeling. Observe. All these will pass and may pass. Watch and see when awareness pass, if it can. All this is taking place within you. Is it not so? Hmm. Now, wherever you go, left or right, up or down, can it leave you? For a time, it may feel you need to remember, you need to remember. Yes, yes, OK. But more and more, all efforts subside in the natural. Now you're resting in yourself.
You don't need to wear special clothes or to have a holy bath or a holy river. All these things are beautiful. Why not? But for this, put nothing in front of this. For this is Your personal identity is not a barrier between you and this. It's a play of a barrier in front of you. Watched in you as a momentary sensation. Endure the ups and downs of the mind's play. It is God's gift that all things are perceived to come and go, up and down, strong, soft, weak. Experience the ride of life in all of its diversity. But remember this, not as something apart from you to keep, but as your own self. Guru Jaisa जिस मस्तक भाग सोला को सेवा जिस मस्तक भाग सोला को Guru Jai Nahi Ko Deva Sat Guru Mera Be Mahataj 
सतगुरु गुरु मेरे सचा साज सतगुरु मेरा सबका सतगुरु पुरख बेदाता पुरख बेदाता गुरु जैसा नहीं को देवा जस मस्तक भा